Tolerance on console was released in a limited beta June 14th. And I'm going to be straight up. I like it. It's a fun tactical agent slash hero based shooter. Pretty familiar with the concept of that. However, the nuance comes with uh, the aim, the operators, as well as everything that comes along with a PC game porting over to console, right? When was the last time we had a game like this for us console folks on this platform? The main comparison is Counter-Strike, right? It didn't do too well. It also didn't play very well. It could have been uh, because of the times that we were in. Uh, however, I also think the player base itself wasn't going to play Counter-Strike on their consoles versus on their PCs, right? Now, why am I bringing this up? Uh, Valorant does pretty much play like CS. They took that CS formula, that tactical team-based formula and layered on abilities uh, as well as different map sets, right? Uh, with controller specifically, the main two differences you're gonna feel is the one-tap nature of this game. There are games that do feature uh, this as well games like rainbow six siege you could even put games like warzone as well as uh you know if you're really hardcore about it like Tarkov, right that one tap nature however with valorant it is a little different because of the recoil and bloom that happens when you shoot uh to targets right uh, the aiming as well is much different the first thing you're going to notice when you play valorant on console is that there's a lot of buttons it's a lot of buttons there's aim down sight with l2 and then you can zoom in with r3 and crouch with l3 circle score you know with your abilities right it's a it's a very active game and you're definitely at some point gonna have a miss input don't get it twisted here i do think just based off the overall look and feel of Valorant, this will definitely definitely be a more successful PC port than CS. Why? Because it has the same nature and audience, let's be real, as games like Overwatch. Overwatch being where it's at now, seeing the plummeting of their esports and trying to bring it back up into a different league, but also at the same time, the controversies and the fiascos that happen with their battle pass and also locking characters behind money. With that in mind, this game being a free to play at the moment, none of that really seems to be the case. You're able to unlock agents, you're able to grind for them just like you can in Rainbow Six Siege. And that brings a whole other level of nuance when it comes to gameplay and familiarity over uh, the map, as well as what can happen when you have these new agents, right? On top of that, for us console folks, there is a lack of map selection not all the maps are available from my understanding as well as some different mechanics that may need to be tweaked out uh, first thing that i'm going to call out here is the notice of movement you know the same call of duty the same apex that's for sure uh you're gonna notice you're gonna be like very like st like stiff right and you gotta get really get used to that because when you're watching these pc gods play valorant and cs the ability to move is much faster because of the mnk input right on top of that there's also sensitivity there's also different crosshairs right there is a lot of other options that come along uh with this game than other ports but what's gonna happen once i start uh getting down the aim right once you start getting the movement down uh it's the shooting one, if you miss that first shot, my immediate inclination is to hold the trigger down and just like try to try to get one in, right? That's the casual perspective. But if you're used to games like this, you miss that first shot, you gotta really go back and tap. And that's where things are a little bit of a struggle here because you may be one tapping at one point, but you may shire, uh, sh fire, excuse me, shire, fire another bullet or two. Uh, just because you held it a little bit longer than you thought some kind of input needs to be there so that we can feel more of the the one shot my thing is uh, maybe they can add like a trigger feature for consoles where if you're using a assault rifle or a sniper you know the that tap is a little bit stiffer it kind of reminds me of og modded xbox controllers but let's not get into that 
But other than that, you know, the real intense nature of this game is what really brings me back to uh, the OG CS. And as a fan of uh, operator and hero based shooters, I gotta say, this, this kind of brings everything together, right? Uh, the other thing that you're really gonna notice is uh, the color scheme and the color the, the colors when somebody drops an ability you get flashbang it's just like whoa like uh, rgb overload you know what i mean uh, but uh, it does add to the overall flair and aesthetic of the game similar to siege there's a lot of interesting agents but there's no story or campaign and i think that adds another layer of uh not just playability right curiosity and play a bit while you're playing a game but it also kind of brings your own uh story with it right it's like oh you're a cypher main right it's like oh like this is who i'm playing as this is who i am i don't know i like that level of immersion when i play games any game in general uh but that's just me will this game hold up on console platforms like siege like overwatch right pretty pretty strong player base there right while the console platforms are dominated by brs a tactical shooter of this popularity i do think is going to take hold with console players however the main thing that i'm noticing as i'm playing the game it's like other pc players who have been playing since the game came out and hopping on console and destroying the new players that's kind of been my experience when you're on that end of it it's fine but when you're receiving it it's like ugh. like it becomes rough what keeps me going what keeps me in the game is another thing is you can stay in queue basically when you finish a game you have the option to play again and i think that is also contributing to the addictive nature of a game like valorant right uh, it shares those very similar qualities of uh being in the loop constantly so you don't have to leave i was on stream the other day and played five hours without even realizing it and i like missed it i didn't miss a dinner i was late overall uh, the game feels really good i honestly think it's probably ready and then they could just release another patch with their official seasonal rollout or whatever let's say they roll out ranked mode right while players get used to it uh, they can roll out the patch and be like hey here's the fixes before you jump into ranked try these out blah 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 blah, blah. it is said that uh, updates will be coming simultaneously to both pc and console so that should be fun thankfully there's no cross platform between pc and console but i wouldn't be mad at an input matchmaking because uh, that really seems to be a thing you know x Defiant does that the concern of mine that was that was simmered uh, on stream was the anti-cheat is there a strong anti-cheat uh for us even for us casual folks to play and not get headshotted left and right or zimmers or cronus whatever you want to call it uh thankfully riot does have a very strong anti-cheat which can be a little controversial at times just based off of why it's so secure but i'm not a tech channel so yeah, we'll see where it goes, but I do think that there could be a lot of su success when it comes to uh, a big game backed by Riot uh, on console. However, I think it's going to be different because just of how segmented the play styles are going to be based off of what platform you play on. So getting a little technical there, but uh, at the end of the day, it, it's like it's really easy to stay in the game. It's really hard to aim and shoot properly because of the bloom that happens when you spray or are just shooting in general. Uh, but learning those mechanics, that skill gap is, in this game, very addictive. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now after just playing for one day. And agents, operators, tax shooter genre aside, I just want to properly learn how to fire the AR and the pistol. Uh, if you like pain and precision, you might like Valorant. I highly recommend. <laughs>